So, this is how we can go at night. It's just about 1 a.m. Yeah. I'm trying to go to that Union Hall Hypermarket, open 24-7. And, uh, yeah, get some supplies. And then we will have a little chat. Um, to talk more about it. I won't be able to take you in because they don't let me filming. So, uh, let's uh, go a little closer with me. That's the place. It's beautiful, fully air conditioned. I hope you can see it. It's just dark at the moment. Fully air conditioned and open 24-7. And it's a huge cow. You pretty much find everything in it. Yeah. So. Yeah. So let me uh, go in and then and come back, and then we'll talk. I'll see you soon. That's where I'm going right now, just uh, use the rear camera and when we come back we will cross the road and you see this little sip and dine over there. We're gonna have a little uh, chat, right? Okay. into this vegetable section. Beautiful mom. Hello guys, I'm back from the mall, now let's go to this uh, little sip and dine here, the restaurant called sip and dine, it's a uh, really nice, colourful restaurant, um, it's morning right now, and then uh, I got the shopping, yeah, so let's find out <laughs> what's in the back, alright. Yeah, it's a beautiful cafe, sip and dine. And uh, we are at sip and dine right now, but you know, behind my, behind me, I have the Union Corp there, and then the Metro on top. Right? Okay, let's uh, see uh, what we bought. Hello, people. I got my little green tea here. And um, yeah, why I choose to go out in the, in the evening. I mean, right now it's at about 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. Because it's more cooler in the evening than during the day. During the day, it's just melting. Anyway. Let's get to uh, the shopping. So I got, I got mushroom. Well, uh, what we need and the lemongrass. Coriander, chili, and some garlic. 
Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is let me uh, have this and let's go to the kitchen and, and then we'll see what we can cook. Something interesting. Bye now. Union Corporate Hypermarket. Hey guys. I had to stop on my way home. Look who we have. Ooh. Tiger. Tiger is here. Evil look. Really evil look, but very friendly. Like, like, uh, like these people touch the stuff. Oh, I think in the sleeping room. Tiger, kitty. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> That's not the dish today. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I'm gonna go to the kitchen and and let's have a, a little chat to see what we can cook today. Hello people, Brian from my kitchen again. So, we did a little bit of uh, shopping, yeah. Um, we went to uh, Union Corp, it's a nice mouth, really nice. Uh, fully air conditioned and then the ground floor is and then the upper level, you know, I, I wish I could could show you uh, a bit more, but, uh, but they don't they don't allow filming. Uh, anyway, so I didn't tell you um, the ingredients that I was looking for um, to make Tom Yang Pla. It's a Thai dish. It's a very very famous Thai dish. Well, you maybe heard the dish called Tom Yang Kung. Tom Yang is a hot and sour, and Kung is the prawns, basically. So in, in Thai language, they call it Kung for prawn. Okay, my uh, Thai friends can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, now, I'm not gonna add prawns. What I'm gonna do is I got I got a really nice piece of salmon. So we we can we will make Tom Yang Pla. Pla is a fish in Thai language, and yeah. So when I was in um, Bangkok, when I was working in Bangkok, you know, it was just and I could eat Tom Yang Kung the soup all day long. It is delicious and is nice. But you need to watch out uh, some of the chilies that they use. Uh, yeah. So, and they have other dishes as well, but Tom Yang Kung, papaya salad, banana salad, they are very famous. And, um, yeah, so, I mean, Thai, you know, that's why you see them slim and they have nice bodies because um, they don't really eat much of rice. They eat uh, very healthy food. And um, so, uh, the, the, I mean, the dishes are so nice. Dishes are so nice. Yeah, all right. Let's go and have the. Um, let's go and have a look. All the ingredients what we're gonna use today. Yeah, it was not easy for me to find all these ingredients because some of the ingredients had to really wait for a long time from to come from Thailand. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Okay. So see all the ingredients. Um, I got coriander leaves. And then I'm gonna add the garlic as well, but most of the 
most of the places in Thailand you won't be you won't see these ingredients. Gar garlic, not much people adding, but you know you can either add it or not add it. But I'm going I'm going to uh, add some garlic, and then these are uh, lemongrass, you know, uh, and then I'm going to add some curry leaves. Yeah, healthy. Uh, so if you allow me, and then this this is the lime leaves from Thailand. I have I got managed to get some lime leaves from Thailand. Of course, I'm not gonna add Thai chilies. But these are ordinary chilies, but I'm not even gonna cut them. I'm just gonna add it as it is. And um, but I like the flavor, right? And here I have uh, one tomato. Yeah, uh, I have seen. I noticed uh, in some places in Thailand they uh, they have many kinds of tomatoes. I have seen something like very small, not the cherry tomatoes. It's something a little bigger than that, um, but you know they can just eat it out of uh, uh, the pack, yeah. And uh, anyway, th this is um, how I, s I have seen most of the uh, restaurants in Thailand. Have, uh, they cooked, uh, I mean they they, they cut uh, tomatoes, but if you have cherry tomatoes, you can use cherry tomatoes as well. And two pieces of ginger. Uh, you won't see in uh, most of the places in Thailand using ginger for this, but um, yeah, I decided to add two pieces of ginger. And here, something that m you might not see before is called galangan. Um, it's um, it's not ginger though, right? It's not ginger. It's um, uh, some say it is ginger is you know it's hot it makes your body warm but these things make your body cool um, but this is how we how it looks but I'm not going to use all of it I'm just going to use a few pieces from here and um, yeah and don't try to eat this yeah because it's it's it burns right don't try to eat it it burns money and <laughs> and then you have this garcinia here now most of the uh, Thai restaurant they use lemon juice but I'm not gonna use lemon juice today because I'm gonna keep this one in the fridge for uh, at least uh, uh, for lunch so I want to use uh, something instead of lemon juice and then a bit more healthier uh, Garcinia yeah Garcinia has a very sour uh, taste so hopefully it can give you uh, give us the uh, um, taste of uh, the sourness for the soup and here is the Thai chili paste right and um, that's not you know it's not difficult to make it you just need to, it's, it's everything what you find here basically they chopped and um, and then uh, and they made a paste out of it right and over here I have a one a bottle of uh, water but now normally I use zero sodium water the zero sodium water is really good because you eat a lot of salt so uh, I use zero sodium water but you can use any other water if you like right and then salt right and here we have uh, button mushrooms um, I have some button mushrooms button mushrooms are really healthy but you know if the people who don't know much about the mushroom mushrooms there are many varieties of mushroom portobello mushroom enoki mushroom uh, tashi mushroom and then button mushroom and then uh, the portobello mushroom is really nice. It's from Italy, and the uh, Japanese, Chinese, yeah, there's so many, 130 uh, uh, varieties of mushroom. But not on all the mushrooms you can eat. Okay, there's only few that we human can actually eat, right? So anyway, um, and then over here, salmon. So I have nice two pieces of salmon head uh, that I'm going to use. And um, so, yeah, and then the pot, right? So that's all we need. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pour water in here, yeah, and then I uh, slow cook salmon a little bit. So you know what it does is it will take all the uh, the uh, omega three oil uh, out out of salmon, yeah. And salmon, you know, don't take much time to cook. And then I'm gonna add all these ingredients, just little by little, one by one, um, when when the salmon is uh, cooking. 
right? That's what I'm gonna do. All right, um, let's get started. So uh, we got the fish in a pot and the water. So um, as you see, just you know, it's cooking slowly. I'm gonna close it. Yeah. Um, you know, if it's any other fish, of course, I wouldn't mind. I put all the ingredients together and then um, cook it. But I'm gonna because it's. it's um, I'm doing it with salmon, and I need the um, um, omega-3 uh, fatty acid. Um, so, so that's why I'm, I'm just cooking the salmon first, yeah, and then I'll add the ingredients gradually. Okay. So let's see. Um, See how it's gonna cook um, after a few minutes and then we will add the ingredients okay guys as you see the fish is nicely cooked and you can see the uh, uh, you probably can see the oil yeah well that's what I need um, so make sure all everything is washed very well you know your spoon the pot and the fish because this is going to be a soup Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ingredients gradually. So I'm going to go ahead and add the mushrooms, all of them. Beautiful. And then we're going to add um, the tomatoes. Right, and then we will add. Garcinia um, you can add as well the, the other ingredients like lemon leaves and uh, this one and curry leaves um, yeah, not ginger And then, yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> Oops, there was some more in the way. The coriander is really healthy, so I don't want to miss anything. Right, so, and the, the, so what is left right now is um, we need to add some salt. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt, just a little bit for now, and then see uh, the taste, you know, how it will be, and then taste it later, and then we will add more, okay? So it's slow cooking right now, yeah, so important, it's, uh, I mean, the important uh, the factor here is uh, you know, this fish is already very well cooked. Now you can uh, cook mushroom and everything uh, slowly, slowly. So you know, it just I'm gonna close the pot right now. Yeah, and I will set this for a slow cooking mode. So it's just, just gonna get there gradually. Yeah. Later on, what we're gonna do is. We'll add these ingredients as well. So we have ginger here, and then the galangan, and then Thai chili paste. Yeah, we'll come back to that and add, and uh, so that will be the end. Now, what what will happen is, um, well, let's say that this is one way of making a soup, straightforward. Okay, but you might see, uh, you know, you might argue with me oh no this is not how uh, I've seen in Thailand and uh, it's more yellowish yes yes you're right and um, because what they do is they add this condensed milk they don't add coconut milk they add condensed milk um, they add condensed milk so you get a creamy soup 
but I'm not going to add condensed milk here so I'm, I just want to have the the all the natural ingredients and uh, and I don't want to mess this uh, the fatty acid come from salmon uh, healthy fatty acid so I just want to leave it simple and then have it so the two ways of making this soup one is you can add condensed milk or one you can uh, you can uh, do without condensed milk so that's what I'm gonna do right now um, yeah so let's come back to it in a few minutes so guys let's uh, quickly have a look oh this smells really nice Mm, gonna reduce the fire a little bit. Yeah, it's done. It's really nice. Now let me mix it. Oh, really nice. Look at that. You won't get better than this. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, um, I can just imagine how this, uh, how healthy this can be. Um, yeah, so the mushrooms are, I mean, halfway cooked, so we need a little bit more time. But then the everything else is is perfectly done. So we will keep some time. But in, in the meantime, what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna add these. Boom, boom, and then ginger. And then this chili paste. Yeah. Just leave it sometimes. Yeah. Done. Beautiful. So, um, so we added the chili paste. Everything is added now. Nothing remaining. So I'll leave it for some time, so I'll, I'll taste it and then i see any other ingredients that we need to add. And I'm sure everything is fine, but just in case you need to add more salt or uh, need to add more uh, garcinia, you know, things like that. So everything, all the other ingredients are fine, but just the salt and the garcinia. It has to be sort of like a sour and hot kind of soup. Yeah? Right. So we will come back in a few minutes and check. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Here we are again. That's probably the end of this. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. See the color. And uh, yeah, it's perfect. Just the best time. So let me turn it off. Yes. And then. Um, Perfectly cooked. Um, I will see you all at the table so we can talk about it. Yeah? See you soon. Alright, we did it. Wasn't hard, was it? To get the ingredients, it's really hard. But actually, it's very easy to make. And the thing is, it's super, super healthy. Right? And it fills you up. Um, so I got this soup here, stop rolling, okay, and then a piece of bread. Uh, ideally, I mean, I love to have the soup with the bread, but if you have a um, warm French baguette, yeah, people, well, when I was in Thailand, I used to eat this with some uh, steam rice. Yeah, because I couldn't find a warm French baguette uh, in the places. I mean, really, when you go down to the uh, uh, the, the villages in Thailand, you know, you won't you won't be. It's not easy to get there. So, uh, and I wasn't bothered as well. So the, the steam rice works really well, or if not, bread. Yeah, and um, so. Oh, one thing I forgot, uh, just a little tip for you about the mushrooms, I was told the mushrooms will 
stand alone mushrooms will not uh, comes under the category of vegetables yeah so if you if you want your man to get some vegetables you know don't expect uh, that he will bring mushroom with you. or don't expect anything <laughs> uh, that's a laugh so don't expect anything <laughs> or the mushroom or anything <laughs> um, uh, so that's it I mean you know if you like the video you can share and subscribe why not right could be an idea all right guys thank you so much but before we do that before you do the buy call I'm gonna try this drop rolling I did ask you to stop roll it put me off if you do <laughs> let me do that okay so there you go <laughs> Lime leaves, mushroom. When you buy the mushroom, lime leaves and fish, dacinia, you will be able to understand each and every ingredients that you added to this soup uh, in your palate. Okay, so that's the cool thing about. It. And um, the add in the ingredients, the the end, the end when you add in the ingredients. Um, the cool thing is, you have the fatty acid that you need. It's still there, and it hasn't changed because you're adding it at the end, right? So, all right, let me get on this. <laughs> Stop rolling and um, we will see you again. Yeah? God bless you all. Thank you.